the society. Uh, what does uh, Islam teach us about? Uh, I mean, it puts people into difficult situations at times. So, what does Islam teach us uh, about these uh, situations? Tough, tough, tough situations, situations in life. Okay. Um, it's actually very powerful. When we declare Allah not just our Creator, mm -hmm. uh, we declare Him our Master. The Arabic word is Rabb. Rab. The word Rabb in Arabic has many connotations, mm -hmm. and I'd like to give you a list of them. The first connotation is master, we already talked about that. Right. Then there is uh, the one who has complete authority over you. Mm -hmm. The authority. Al-Sayyid, uh, they say in Arabic. Then he's the one who has complete ownership over you as well. And this is important, just in, in brief, because it's possible for you to own something but not have complete authority over it. That's like your car. Mm -hmm. You own it, but you can't make any modifications you want. There are, there are requirements by the state or mm -hmm. whatever else, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can't drive it however fast you want and you still have to get insurance or inspections and all of that stuff. So you have ownership but not authority. Mm -hmm. But a master is one who has ownership and has authority, authority. together at the same time. Okay. Additionally, it's wal mun'im, the grantor of gifts. Mm -hmm. Now this is important. A master... When he gives something to his slave, mm -hmm. it's not considered compensation. An employer, an employer when he gives to the employee, it's my paycheck. Right. I deserve it, and if I don't get it, I have a right to complain. Mm -hmm. But when the master gives to the slave, then that is considered actually a gift. A gift. A gift. So my creed as a Muslim is that whatever I have in this life is a gift. Mm -hmm. And whatever I don't have or whatever is taken away from me wasn't mine to begin with. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, the thing between a gift and compensation, or paycheck, is a gift is something you don't deserve. So mm -hmm. if you don't get it, you can't complain. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't something you were worthy of to begin with. It's given in addition to what you are owed. owed. If it's owed to you, it's not a gift. Mm -hmm. It's compensation. It's a compensation. Right? So we believe everything we have in this world is compensation. So my master decided to give me two functioning hands. Mm -hmm. These are two gifts of his. Okay. If I only had one... You can't complain. I can't because it wasn't mine to begin with. Mm -hmm. And actually, we go, we take this to the nth degree. The Muslim takes this to the nth degree. When somebody dies, you know what we say to each other? We say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. It is no doubt we belong to Allah, and to Him we have to be returned. Return. What am I going to speak about my hand for, or my clothes, or my or, or or my health, or my children, my family, my car, my house, my job, when I myself am the property of Allah? I myself yes. belong to Him. Mm -hmm. So whatever is taken away from me wasn't mine to begin with. And my teacher. The, the psychology of this is very powerful. My teacher explained it to me in this way. Human beings, you know, when their faith is weak mm -hmm. in the master, really mm -hmm. being master, right? What happens, it's kind of like the parent and the child, right? The the um, parent mm -hmm. uh, says to the child, is the parent's about to eat some ice cream. And the child says, Dad, can I have some? Little kid, mm -hmm. can I have some? And that says, no, you can't have any. Can I have some? Okay, you can only have two bites. Hold on to this for a second. Just mm -hmm. have two bites and give it back to me. Mm -hmm. The child takes it, takes two bites, two licks. The parent says, can I have it back? What does the child say? No. Mine. <laughs> this is mine. You forget. Yeah. Now, the Lord gives, He gives, He gives, He gives. And then He takes away. And when He takes away, what do people start complaining? Yeah. This was mine. Mm -hmm. This was mine. Mm -hmm. But the Muslim has to internalize, as, as the fundamental part of his creed, it's not his to begin with. Yeah. So whenever problems happen, and if you keep that at the forefront of your mind, the Quran says, لِكَيْ لَا تَأْسَوْ عَلَى مَا فَاتَكُمْ so you may not grieve over things you lose mm -hmm. and you not you may not become overjoyed over things you gain because you know all of these are a gift and all of these gifts are temporary because you yourself are temporary you belong to Allah as well